Not the best news for this program this week with Bol Bol and the fact that he's not going to be playing. Take me through what the mentality is for you and your staff when you have such a unique player who is as talented as Bol Bol is and just know that you're not going to have him the rest of the season. Yeah, it's tough. First of all, Bol was really popular. You know, the yeah. guys loved him. He was a great guy, easy to get along with, and uh, good sense of humor. So we're going to miss him, you know, just uh, as part of the team. And uh, 21 points and 10 rebounds is, <laughs> is hard to replace, too. And he was a unique player and, uh, you know, a guy that, you know, we were just kind of figuring out how to use. You know, I mean, it. Uh, I haven't had a player like that before. And, you know, trying to blend the inside-outside uh, game that he has into our team, um, you know, was kind of fun as a coach. And he was fun to work with. Uh, came to practice every day and uh, worked pretty hard. And then when he didn't and I got on him a little bit, he'd really turn it up. So. Uh, he was great to work with, and, and we're definitely going to miss him. I saw him a couple times, maybe the most unique player I've seen in the last 10, 15 years, so it is disappointing. With that said, and I've seen a couple of your games I mentioned, you know, now you move on. you got to get in the conference. People, other people have to step up. And you and I have talked about this kind of what is, what's the identity of this team? And, and, and as you kind of move into conference play, how do you talk to your guys about that? How do they feel about that? Well, we were searching, even with Bull and Kenny, you know, we were searching for an identity. Uh, a lot of new guys, a lot of new faces, and, uh, you know, our ball movement wasn't good offensively. We still have a lot of work to do there. Uh, you know, defensively, we were pretty good, you know, with Kenny and Bull protecting the rim. You know, we did some pretty good things defensively. Uh, we had a couple bad outings, but all in all, defensively, I thought we did some really good things. But uh, uh, and on the boards, we've been inconsistent. So our consistency defensively on the boards has to get better. Our ball movement has to get much better. Um, but it's a work in progress. And, and now we, you know, we're without a couple critical parts of that. Uh, we're just going to have to make some adjustments and go. Coach, when I, I heard the news, I started thinking about the last couple years with your basketball team and the amount of talent that's been on the floor. And I know it's not the same thing, but I remember a couple years ago, Chris Boucher, right before the NCAA tournament, he goes down, and I knew the talent that was on that roster. You're thinking, hey, the Final Four, National Championship, you guys still had a great run without Chris. The fact that you have this much time to figure things out when you don't have this player, do, do you, can you take anything away from, from that situation that potentially helps you here? Well, the difference there is we had a, a veteran group. Yeah. You know, you know, uh, Brooks and Bell had been with us a long time. Casey Benson had been with us a long time. Tyler, Tyler Dorsey, Dylan Ennis. You know, it was, it was a veteran group. And and those guys had goals right from the start of the season. We'd gone to the final eight the, you know, the year before. We wanted to go to the final four. And so those guys, you know, were able to make the adjustment. This is a real young team. You know, every group's different. Every team's different. You, uh, it's hard to carry from over from one year to the next. But... Uh, you know, this group will respond. I, I have faith in them. Uh, there are going to be some ugly moments at times because our ball movement and, and our inability to score at times. Uh, so there's not going to be smooth, but I think our guys can grind some things out and, and catch fire. Lou's got to get going for us. Uh, Lou's a talented player, but he was out nine months, you know, and with, with knees, you don't get to work out, you don't get to practice. And so he was out for nine months, and it's going to take him a while to get going, but he's a talented offensive player, and we need him to get going. Uh, VJ's coming along nicely, and I think he can make some big steps. Uh, Will Richardson, a freshman, sure. you know, and uh, we, we put too much pressure on Peyton right now to, you know, to make baskets and get things started. We need uh, to get some other guys going. You know, Coach, last question, kind of a similar question to that. You've been so good once conference plays start, and actually one of the best records after, uh, say, Valentine's Day, maybe the best in the Pac-12 in the last five or six years. Why have you guys been able to kind of turn it on later in the season? What have you been able to do to kind of get these teams right as, a, as the season goes? Well, we've had really good players, and, yeah. and those guys have, have worked with us, you know. And uh, as I mentioned, every team's different. But we've been fortunate to have some guys that really have stayed with it and have gotten better, you know, as the year progressed. And, uh, you know, we got healthy at some of those times, you know, and some of those teams we weren't healthy, you know, early and we got healthy late. And, you know, this year we're not going to be healthy. You know, it just is what it is. And, and I told the guys that, fellas, you just got to move on. It, it hurts. And the only one I really feel sorry for is Bowl, yeah. Yeah. you know, because he was playing so good. And, and I think he was having a lot of fun. And uh, so I feel bad for him. I feel bad for Kenny. Kenny 
you know, was having a good sophomore year, and I don't know how long he'll be out, but eventually we'll get him back, I think, this year yet. And, uh, you know, that'll give us a big boost. Uh, but we're going to miss him defensively. He, you know, he was a presence in there. And so right now, you know, Francis is going to have to step up. Uh, uh, Miles is going to have to step in and give us some minutes. You know, some of the couple freshmen there that uh, hadn't had an opportunity are going to get an opportunity, and I sure hope they're ready for it. Yeah, I think about all those big blocks in Vegas that Kenny Wooten had. Great rim protection as well. Coach, appreciate you stopping by with us, and best of luck tonight in the game. Thank you very much.